dazzling Duchess Kate glitters in Diana's diamond tiara as she and William join the Queen for a lavish state banquet held in honor of the visiting Dutch royals. The Duchess of Cambridge glittered in a diamond tiara that once belonged to Princess Diana as she arrived for a state banquet at Buckingham Palace last night. Kate, 36, joined husband Prince William, 36, and other senior royals for the lavish dinner hosted in honor of King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. The Queen, 92, used the opportunity to speak publicly about Brexit for the first time saying in a speech that as we look toward a new partnership with Europe the values shared by the UK and the Netherlands are our greatest assets. It came after King Willem Alexander, 52, said he was truly saddened by Brexit in an address to parliamentarians at Westminster on Tuesday. The Dutch royals kicked off their two-day state visit, the first by a sitting Dutch monarch in 40 years with a ceremonial welcome on Horse Guards Parade on Tuesday morning before carrying out engagements at the Palace of Westminster, Westminster Abbey, and Clarence House. Among the highlights of the whirlwind tour was last night's state banquet, which was attended by VIP guests including the Prime Minister, Princess Michael of Kent, the Archbishop of Canterbury and Princess Mabel, the widow of the Dutch King's brother Prince Friso who died five years ago in a skiing accident. As per protocol, female members of both the Dutch and British royal families wore ball gowns and tiaras for the glittering event at Buckingham Palace. For her third appearance at a state banquet, the Duchess of Cambridge channeled old-school Hollywood glamour in a flattering blue gown by her favorite designer Alexander McQueen. The dress, made in a thick vintage-inspired fabric, featured a ruched bodycon fit on the torso and flared out in a fishtail style. Kate finished the look with the diamond and pearl Cambridge lover's knot tiara owned by Princess Diana, which she also wore to the Chinese state banquet in 2015 and the Spanish state banquet last year. Eagle-eyed royal fans also noted the Duchess has been given the Elizabeth II family order, a jewel-encased image of the Queen on a chartreuse yellow ribbon which royal women wear pinned to their left shoulder. The Duchess of Cornwall, the Princess Royal and the Countess of Wessex have all previously been given the personal order. Kate's husband Prince William, 36, looked dapper in white tie as he walked alongside Prime Minister Theresa May into the ballroom. The Duchess of Cornwall, 71, was the picture of elegance in an embroidered ivory coat dress and the Queen Mother's gravel tiara, which was loaned to her by the monarch for the evening. The honeycomb pattern jewelry piece which was worn by Camilla to the Spanish state banquet last year, was originally made for society maven the Honorable Mrs. Greville, who famously left her considerable jewelry collection to Queen Elizabeth, the future Queen Mother, on her death in 1942. Meanwhile the Queen opted for the girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara, which is believed by many to be the favorite among her sizable collection. Unlike many other royal tiaras, the piece is so light and comfortable it can be worn as a necklace or a headpiece, not to be outdone by her hosts. Queen Maxima, 47, pulled out all the stops in the breathtaking Stuart tiara which she teamed with a teal gown featuring a mesh bodice. They must also wear the Elizabeth II family order, a jewel-encased image of the Queen on a chartreuse yellow ribbon which royal women wear pinned to their left shoulder. The Duchess of Cornwall the Princess Royal and the Countess of Wessex have all been given the personal order. The Royal Family Order of Queen Elizabeth II is an honor bestowed on female members of the British Royal Family by the monarch and worn on formal occasions. It depicts the Queen as a young woman in evening dress wearing the ribbon and star of the Order of the Garter. It was an action-packed first day for Queen Maxima and King Willem Alexander, who kicked off their engagements with a ceremonial welcome on Horse Guards Parade. After arriving in the capital on Monday night, Willem Alexander, 51 and his Argentine-born consort were met by a spectacular gun salute to formally kick off a two-day visit that will take them everywhere from Buckingham Palace to Brixton and the House of Commons. The VIP visitors enjoyed a traditional military welcome on Horse Guards Parade at the start of their two-day state visit on Tuesday before being treated to a glittering state banquet and a full display of pomp and pageantry. Maxima, known for her flamboyant wardrobe, was uncharacteristically paired back in a pale pink dress coat, believed to be from Clay's Aversin, featuring frayed seams and cinched at the waist with a wide belt.
more than 1,000 troops and hundreds of horses will take part in the visit this week, a spokesperson for the Army said, with Major General Ben Bathurst, Major General commanding the Household Division, commanding all troops on parade. State visits are the highest form of diplomatic contact between sovereign states and are regarded as high points in the ceremonial season, requiring extensive preparations and rehearsals.